Dear Prime Minister, are you safe? Are your family safe from COVID? Because I'm not. My family is not. Our entire country is not. We are the ones who are suffering on the roads. We are the ones who are dying on the roads. We are gasping for breath. There's no oxygen. There's no ventilators available. There's no ICU beds available for our loved ones. But you, please be safe. You don't have to worry about all these things because you never cared about our lives, did you? The scientists kept telling you from last year that the second wave is coming, but you didn't want to listen. You only cared about your reputation in the world stage. You went and proclaimed that you defeated COVID. You made all of us become lethargic in this country about COVID. It is you who is responsible for this pandemic. This is the biggest man-made disaster this country has ever seen. Instead of protecting us, instead of preparing us, what you did, you went and conducted Kumbh Mela. If any other religion had conducted a festival like that, you would have called them as terrorists. You would have asked them to hang. Your laptop media would have screamed saying, the nation wants to know. The nation wants to know why did you allow it to happen? When the COVID was ravaging this country, why were you going and conducting so many political meetings? And you were proudly saying how many people are coming to your meetings. Aren't you ashamed to put our lives in danger like this? Your incompetence is there for the world to see. You are the one who should have gotten this country ready for oxygen. Did you do that? No. You had 10 months of time to produce oxygen. 133 tenders were given out, but only 30 of them are functioning. Who is responsible? You and you alone are responsible for this disaster. You are responsible for our loved ones who are dying. Vaccines. Why only two companies are producing vaccines? Why many companies are not allowed to do that? And why are the states not given enough oxygen supply? Why does the Supreme Court have to intervene and say, okay, fine, we will set up a committee to give oxygen equally for everyone? Is it not your duty? You have failed us. Your incompetence, we are getting buried in the avalanche of your incompetence. We are dying, we are getting cremated by numbers that you are hiding. And if we ask questions, you call us terrorists. You put sedition cases on us. You put UAPA cases on activists. You throw us in jail, but we don't care. We will ask you questions. Because we are the ones who are dying. Because it is our loved ones who are dying. You know, in a family, when, when, when children suffer, when they are dying, the parents will do anything to save them. They will spend as much money as they can to save their children. But you, when we are suffering right now, when we don't have money to offer for our you know, medical expenses, what you are doing, you are building a palace for yourself. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Do we really need a Central West, Central Vista program right now? As a Prime Minister, don't you have a duty towards us, our well-being? Are you so greedy? Are you so megalomaniacal to have a palace for yourself? Is this what a leader does? Aren't you not ashamed of yourself? If you have any respect, any self-respect, any decency whatsoever, you will resign and go. This country has suffered enough. And I don't have to say that. Your own tweet in 2014, you said India needs a strong government. Modi does not matter. I can go and open a tea stall, but the nation can't suffer anymore. We are saying the same thing to you. We need a strong government. Modi does not matter. Please go open a tea stall. The nation can't suffer anymore. If you feel responsible at all, if you have any humanity left in your mind at all, you will resign, Mr. Modi. You will resign. But I know you won't. You don't have empathy. Expecting empathy from you is like expecting a fish to climb a tree. I know that. You only care about your power, your position, your name. You will go and file cases on those people who question you. You will go question the foreign media. You will go question the court who is asking questions on you. Everybody is wrong, only you are right. You don't care about our lives. You only care about yourself. You are the biggest pandemic that this country has ever seen. And we are suffering for that. If you have any shame left, resign Mr. Modi. You do not deserve to be our Prime Minister. This country cannot suffer anymore. Jai Hind.